In this video, I give you my verdict along with what I consider to be the main pros and cons of the Burst Water Flosser. Hey, it's John here from Electric Teeth. We assist you in selecting the right dental care products and understanding common dental health care topics. Just before I give you my overall opinion on Burst, I want you to know that if not, or as not more important than the Burst Water Flosser itself, is how well you brush, how often you brush, the technique you use, and how often and how well you floss. Linked in the top right corner is our guide to taking care of your teeth. It includes all of the important information that you need to know. And for those looking to make their oral care routine more sustainable, there's a link in the description for that too. So then to my overall verdict on the Burst Water Flosser. The Burst Cordless Water Flosser is without doubt one of the best options available today. It certainly takes the challenge to market leader water pick. It looks smart and is available in a few different color options. With three different modes, you can find the pressure setting to best suit you. And you can also find the tips best suited to you thanks to the interval changeable options that are available. The battery life is excellent and the USB charging option is very convenient as well. Unfortunately, the capacity of the water tank is quite small at 110 milliliters. This can drain the tank in just 20 seconds on the turbo mode, which may not be enough time for you to complete a thorough clean of your teeth and gums. So then let's take a look at the pros of the Burst Water Flosser. Well, I think the first pro has to be the design. Now, being a cordless water flosser, it's always gonna be a little bit bulky, but I think Burst have done a really good job in the way that they've designed this unit. It looks quite sleek. I've got it here in the black color option, but you can also get it in two other color options as well. At the top of the handle, we've sort of got this diamond texture, which transitions across from their Burst electric toothbrush. We've got the smiley face on the power button, which is a nice touch. Again, that comes through from the toothbrush. We've got these soft touch um, sort of silicone rubber bits with the Burst logo imprinted on there. There's an LED ring uh, around the power button and we've got these nice cleaning mode icons. It's all really well designed. It feels pretty sturdy in hand as well. So it's nice. Um, I think they've done a good job there. So another positive is the three different pressure settings. So you've got the turbo mode here at the top. You've then got the normal mode and then you've got the pulse mode or the massage mode if you like. The turbo mode is the most powerful. Uh, it drains the tank in uh, around about 20 seconds. The normal mode is a little less powerful and the one I think most people will actually use. That takes about 25 seconds or so to drain the tank. And then you've got the third mode, the pulsing, which as the name implies, it pulses. So you get different pressure settings. So it's kind of massaging the gums when you do it. And that drains the tank in around about 30 odd seconds. So you can find the uh, right mode for you. And each mode is really easy to identify thanks to these icons and you can change the mode by pressing and holding uh, the power button and it cycles through and they are lit up uh, when the mode is selected. So another pro is the interchangeable tips. For most people, they're just gonna want this classic tip, but uh, Burst do have a range of different tips. Now their range of tips is not quite as expansive as the likes of Waterpick, but they are catering to uh, the most common needs of those people using a water flosser. So that means you can pick up an ortho tip and a perio tip to fit into the top of the water flosser. And that's gonna suit those with periodontal disease or those using braces. So another pro is the battery life of this water flosser. Now I tried to test this as best as I can, but you'd need a really long time to actually uh, run the battery out. The claimed battery life is up to 80 days. Now I'm not sure what that is based on, whether it's based on using it once or twice a day, but in my hands-on testing, uh, through the simulated test that I ran, I got nearly double that at 145 days. The battery life is simply superb on this. Even if it lasted two months, that would be uh, more than good enough in my opinion. But for 80 plus days, it's simply fantastic. I then must praise the uh, USB charging functionality. So cordless water flossers tend to charge in a number of different ways depending on the brand. Often they have a physical cable that connects into them and Burst is no exception. But rather than a really obvious charging port, on the back here, you've got this really small imprint where you put in uh, this proprietary USB charger and it 
pushes into the water flosser to charge it up. And the other end of that cable is a uh, full-size male USB. Uh, so you can connect that up to a USB socket or on a charger or wall adapter that you may have. You can connect it to your computer to charge as well. Uh, and you do get status information via this little plus icon here on the front of the handle when it's actually on charge. It'll light up um, and it also lights up red when the battery life is below around about 20%. So that USB charging is really quite convenient. You can travel with ease, just take the little cable, no bulky power adapter needed. Another potential benefit for some people is the subscription system that exists with Burst. So Burst is really centered around a subscription-based system. Now you can buy the water flosser and the uh, nozzles without subscribing, but the idea is that you do subscribe and you get regular deliveries of replacement nozzles. Those come through every six months. They're fairly affordable and comparable to the likes of Waterpik, but uh, I haven't really seen any water flossers on subscription, so this is the first option that I've seen, and the overall product is very good, so it's a great uh, choice for you. So then to the cons of this water flosser. Now there's a lot of good things but probably the primary con is the water tank. With 110 mil capacity even on the normal mode draining in about 25 seconds for most people isn't quite long enough to get that nice thorough clean they want. Now yes you can go around all the teeth in that time if you're really quick and it's probably all you absolutely need but most of us want to make sure that we're doing a really good thorough job so you're going to probably have to fill this up uh, at least uh, a second time maybe a third depending on your preference because it does drain so quickly. Now another con is this water tank door. Now I admit I am probably being slightly picky here but it's just something to bear in mind. So it's got this um, sort of rubber silicone um, component and it is very securely fitted in here. I cannot complain about that. It's not really ever going to leak but you kind of really need a nail to pull this back and then pull it out. It's a little bit tricky. And then where a lot of them have um, plastic doors that fold back about 180 degrees, this doesn't, this sort of flaps over. So when you fill it, you've actually got to hold this back and then fill the water in there. I mean, it's a small issue, I have to be honest. The seal is good, um, it feels good quality and it fits in with the overall design. It's just something to be aware of. It can be a little bit tricky to sort of get your finger in here and get that open but I suppose with more and more use it becomes a little bit more flexible and um, it just might not be that convenient to try and fill up and hold back the um, door at the same time. Another con and this kind of applies to all cordless water flossers is a bit messy it takes a bit of practice and technique to make sure that you're not dribbling um, water everywhere you need to be over a sink so although you have the benefit of you're not sort of corded with an actual cable coming out of this and you can move it around you're still going to need to be over a sink to let the water flow out of your mouth and you can find the water will run down the unit itself and this can get a little bit wet you can get better with practice but it's something to be aware of so the final con is the price now at the time of recording this is only available in the US and it's priced at $69.99 now that is at the higher end of the price for cordless water flossers. It's certainly comparable to the likes of um, top end water picks. And to be fair, this really does challenge some of the best water picks. So I can certainly see the justification for this price. And I wouldn't say it's overpriced, but I think for many people, they may think that this is a little bit expensive when you consider that you can get water flossers for around about 30 or $40. Now you do have the peace of mind that it uh, is made by uh, one of the more reputable brands, um, so in this case Burst, but there are cheaper options available that may even potentially address some of the issues such as the larger water tank. They might not be quite so polished in the design, some of them do look a little bit cheaper and not so, quite such premium materials, um, but that's perhaps a little bit of a negative for me. I'd just like to see it maybe 10 or $15 cheaper really. So there we have it. That's my opinion on the Burst Water Flosser. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you found this video useful. For more videos like this, do click subscribe and click here for tips and tricks on how to improve your oral health.